The Pro Elite Detailing Brush. A piece of crap or a piece of gold? Take a look at this bad boy. Uh, got it at, I think, O'Reilly. It's got this little, I don't know, it almost feels like terry cloth casing on here. Pretty cheaply made. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with the cloth after I use it, but I guess the fact that it comes off means I can wash it, so that's good. While I finagle with this particular tool, I want to let you know I bought it about a month ago and I've been testing it. So this is not just like, oh, I used it one time. Let me uh, tell everybody about it. This is a tool everybody can get at their auto parts store. It's $3.99 and it has these two brushes on it. I truly believe there's value in this, but there's many ways to skin a cat. Yes, they make these flat Q-tips that work great for air vents, but just entertain this for a little bit. So I'm, I'm like dousing because I love product. Dousing totally oversaturating uh, these fibers with my all-purpose cleaner. There's a little bit of a you know, photo for you so you can see, hey, what does this thing look like in the store? It's actually a detailing brush for vents. Uh, you know, customers want clean windows and they don't want their vents to look nasty. It's one of these things you can overlook and if you dial in a vent, it's amazing. So this brush is actually pretty firm. You can dislodge a lot of stuff and then you can kind of come in and almost like the tricky thing for me is trying to figure out do you just do one vent at a time? I guess you do, and you kind of sandwich it in there. You could kind of do this. Actually, that's not too bad. That's kind of slick. And you can see on some different air vents here, just some light dust. Uh, I'm going to try, I've got uh, some all-purpose cleaner that I already sprayed on this. And again, I like this because this is firm, you know. It's, it's going to give you a chance to get right. See this? Actually, this is awesome. See how you can kind of, because of how firm it is, you can kind of get into these nooks and crannies. So you don't necessarily need compressed air. Then you come in, and you can kind of, I think that's one thing that, that I don't do as well as I should, is kind of with a flat, nimble surface, kind of get each section of the air vent and then you can just follow up with a uh, with a towel it's a pretty slick tool you guys especially if you're just doing your own car at home but even just to have that around I think the downside for me is after a couple of vehicles here I just did one other vehicle and then uh, in this air vent you can kind of see how dirty it's getting so what do I do do I just have this one microfiber terry towel trifecta I don't know washing that would be a pain I think but uh, as far as first time use look at that huh it's pretty nice not a bad little toy right if you want to spend five bucks have some fun um, let's try it here yeah it's actually you know I, we're so used to these soft bristle brushes because of their safety right but I think having that firm bristle and then Kind of see this here? I'm able to just kind of get into there. That's pretty slick, you guys. And then I'll follow up with, oops, <laughs> sorry. Then I'll follow up with a wipe. Can you tell I forgot my tripod today on the job? Um, with that said, this thing just came off and uh, this is what it looks like. Is it direct sunlight? It's dirty, just came off. But the results are good. I would say for five bucks, why not? It may save you in a pinch, and then it'll be worth 50 bucks to you.